What is going on guys? Welcome back to a man like Ricky and today we're going to be reacting to the new BMW M4 CSL. I'm a massive M car fan. I love the E46 M3 CSL. So let's have a little look. I have briefly looked into the to the CSL. Uh, um, yeah, let's get straight into it. This Sunday, 10.30, somebody will be winning this BMW M140i for 99p. It's got full service history with 26,000 miles on the clock, finished in Alpine white, stays too tuned to over 450 horsepower, has double slatted kidney grills, a gloss black body kit with M3 style mirrors, and to finish it off, it's been lowered on gloss black 18 inch alloys. So just to remind you, this Sunday, 10.30, somebody will be winning this car for 99p. Head over to LLFGames.com for your chance to win. <laughs> He's weighing himself. This, people, is 100 kilos of stuff. And it's the amount of weight BMW has taken out of a standard M4 to create this. That is sick new when you look at it like that. CSL. Yeah, they're bringing back the CSL badge. <laughs> Who, who is this guy that, that uh, presents for talk? It's crazy, isn't it? Because, you know, we all just want to see Chris Harris, isn't it? We just want to see Chris Harris fucking talk about this car. Why do we get all these random new presenters? I get it. Like, it's a big, big production company. Uh, uh, God knows where Chris is. But what do we think, man? I think we're all starting to like and in BMW this M4 M1, now, aren't we? It gets like no end. bigger than this. It's a badge that's only been used twice before. Originally on the E9 3 litre CSL in 1972, then again for the famous E46 M3 CSL in 2003. Sorry to pause it, but I've driven an E46 M3 CSL and I can confirm that even the age of that car in 2022, you can't compare them. Like, these, another level, like, seriously, even now. More recently, BMW has used the GTS, GTS. badge for the quickest yeah, M3 this is... and M4. Like, the question is, is why? And exactly. to answer Why? it, yeah, we have me. this man, Dirk Hacker, BMW M's head of engineering. Dirk, 50 years of M this year, and you've given us a new CSL, only the third time in BMW M history you've done this. Why have you chosen now to bring back the CSL badge? The CSL badge, I think, stands for lightweight. And we want to demonstrate the lightweight potential of the new M4 competition um, model. In, in the future to see the impact on the performance and also as a little um, remark to the M3 CSL 20 years ago with a duct tail with a carbon roof that's a message for the 50th of anniversary for the M4 CSL. So what, what's the difference between a CSL badge and a GTS badge because obviously the E46 was the CSL then you've had a couple of GTS's yes. since then so what's the difference? There's a little different focus for the car, so CSL. There is no difference. They're just trying to make a difference or trying to explain a difference, I bet. You know, because the GTS basically was the equivalent of the CSL. I don't know. I suppose the, the CSL has never had, like, the cage. GTS has been, like, more of a track-orientated version. The is more for lightweight, and the GTS are more for track tool. So they included right, also a roll cage, a wing on the rear, but also adjustable front splitter. And with this car, we want to demonstrate mm. the lightweight performance and of the new model. Great. So that was a message in this generation for the M4 CSL. And how important is that E46 CSL in BMW's lineage? I think it's very important because it's for the first time a special model, a special edition of an M3 20 years ago. Why didn't they do this with the F80, man? I know they bring the CS, but why not do a proper do you know what I mean? So frustrating, man. That badge holds weight. Do you know what I mean? Like for me, that's a serious, like if a CSL comes out, it's no job. It's the first time um, weight reduction by the carbon roof, but also with the impressive exterior with the duct It's nice from the rear. It looks I really nice. I like the very big, um, laser style lights. The M generation, the M3 and M4 generation. Bro, that's really nice from the rear. But I'm not feeling all of this like stupidness on it, man. All this red and bits of carbon. Was that carbon weave on the But it's also 100 kilos heavier than the last generation F80 GTS. Where's that weight discrepancy come from? I think we, we know that the new generation of the M3 and M4 increased by, by the weight, but also by the dimensions. It's a bigger car. Mm. And also we have to the end of the predecessor, a lot of installed technique like auto particle filter and something like that. 
So at least the difference between the predecessor and the actual model, it's about 50 kilograms. So if you compare the M4 CSL with the predecessor M4 competition, this is 50 kilogram lighter on one side, but on the other side, 100 horsepower more. I think right. it's a message overall to take a look on the new generation, lightweight, more power, more performance. And this is the um, exploration for the, the weight um, in differences. Okay. so. It's just annoying, isn't it, though? Because what are these 1,800 kilos? So 100 kilos lighter, it's still like 17, maybe like high 16s or mid 1,600 kilos. But yeah, it's good that BMW is still even making these kind of cars. I, I personally just feel it's more marketing, though, like more about the money. I don't know. Maybe I could be wrong. So 100 kilos saved overall. I want to know how much detail you've gone to with that. What's the smallest piece of weight saving on the car? I think the smallest thing also a very impressive one is the laser wire rear light yeah. because it's about 400 gram lighter than the standard one and it was one of the components uh, 400 we grams. To add and also okay. to offer to get uh, the decrease of one kilogram but i think the laser wire in the rear is the thing with the with the smallest impact of this of course it is. What's 400 so grams? The smallest bit of weight. Bro, look at the cabin. Wow. Welcome to the biggest. These yeah, seats man. are each 12 kilos lighter yeah, 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 than the yeah. regular M4 seats. Manually sliding, but if you I want wonder... any other adjustment at all, you need to get the spanners out, including to remove the headrest. There are two little bolts here, so you get more helmet space when you're on a track day. The seats themselves are superb. You snug so deep into them. The sides M4 are up really CSL, boy. It feels That'd be a nice daily, wouldn't it? Which makes it a bit more difficult to turn around and point into the back where they have saved another 21 kilos by nice. ditching the rear Look seats and all nice. the boot lining. Getting rid of all the sound insulation. See, this is like, you know, me personally, like, I'm massive M car. I love my Beamers. I would probably take one of these over a GT3. Um, saved another 15 kilos. Carbon exterior panels have lost another 11 kilos. A titanium silencer that's another four kilos gone and 21 kilos in dynamic bits lighter brakes wheels tires and then there's another four kilos of miscellaneous bits the more open grill the new rear lights ditching the floor mats and the automatic air conditioning you do wow. still have to have air conditioning but it doesn't have to be dual zone that saves a little bit but is this nice. a bit convenient like they got to 100 kilos of weight saving and didn't bother pushing any further here we are under the carbon bonnet and look at the state of this strut brace. It's aluminium though and it was carbon on the old F80. So this is probably a little bit heavier, but look, they're clearly serious about stiffness. Engine itself hasn't had a lot done. It's just had a software upgrade for an extra 40 horsepower. 550 horsepower total, 479 pounds foot of torque, which is the same as the regular M4 competition. There just must be a sweet spot with 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 track cars right because i just sitting there imagining myself owning this car would i go and put a stage two tune in it and take it to i'm sure these are like 700 brake on a stage two 40 horsepower like that's it 40 brake like no man what, what's that then um i don't even know what it is i, I don't know because you've got the rear wheel drive and you've got the competition what are they, about 500 brake let's hear what it sounds like it's just gonna sound like shit, isn't it? <sighs> sounds like poo mate might be turbocharged but that sounds pretty good to me a bit crisper and cleaner than a standard m4 <laughs> this guy bro what is up with this guy man he's like um, no offense i know it's like there's some fans probably out there but i mean like obviously all of these high production shows are like scripted but man sounds fully scripted out here man like but if you still worship manuals you're not gonna like this very much the csl is automatic only not twin clutch automatic the same eight speed gearbox that's in yeah. the regular m4 but it does send all its power to the rear wheels alone and we do like rear -wheel that drive. Nice. very much it'd be nice to have a manual box as well wouldn't it relax these haven't got any bigger doesn't look that have. bad does it that front does not look that bad anymore imagine that all of this time we've been hating on that front end on those nostrils and now they don't look too bad. A lot more open, so don't go chasing people around on track days too closely because you'll get stoned. Oh, shit, yeah, yeah. What are you going to do about that? You have to get like a mesh over there. Thing. Look at the new badge. Actually, the original badge from 1972. It's being fitted on all BMW M cars made during 2022. That's nice. That's really nice. 
under these rather lovely new carbon wings, you have a wheel that saved about five kilos a corner. Carbon ceramic nice. brakes, obviously. And although these wheels look like the standard M4 ones, they are not. They're all new. Plus, you've got Michelin Cup 2R. Ooh, you just said they're five kilos lighter for corners. Here. Instead, if you're going to be more on road, oh, you shit. can have a 4S instead. It's got Michelin Cup 2R tyres, bro. These are like the ultimate track tyres. You can see it's got really good stance, this. Down here, the start of the aero work, which, as you come down the side of the car, past the new wider sills and these rather lovely laser lights, you get to my favourite detail on the entire car. Yes, like the original E46 CSL, this has a one-piece carbon boot lid with the moulded-in ducktail spoiler. Gorgeous. And this all adds up to a car that can storm around the Nürburgring in just 7 minutes, 15.7 seconds. Nice. Over 13 seconds faster than the previous M4 GTS or the current M5 CS. Right, here's a quick potted history of the Ultima M cars. Like 7 minute 15, that's no joke, like you're smoking, like you got hit a trap there in that car, you're smoking everything bro, obviously, apart from GT3s. RSs maybe. E30 M3, which got gradually lighter and faster through Evo, Evo 2 and Sport Evo versions. The E36 came along in 1994 and spawned a GT model. Only 9 horsepower more, but with 30 kilos stripped out. Only 356. E36 M3, this is the reason why I'm into M cars, because my dad owned one of these growing up. That is why I'm a super fanboy. This Not an evolution, BMW it was a 3 litre, 5 speed. The E46 CSL E46, was the game changer. One of these. Not it CSL. pioneered the carbon roof and famously had yeah. a carbon airbox. With 355 horsepower, the iconic 3.2 litre straight six only gained 17 horsepower. But 110 kilos was hacked out, bringing overall weight down to 1,385 kilos. That's why you got the Yes, Beautiful. that's a quarter of a tonne less than the new CSL. 1,383 were built, and it was capable of a 7 minute 50 ring lap. Arguably the ultimate version Back of the Back in what, was that 2005? That was in 2003. 2003. Seven years later we had the Every first GTS. GTS. 30 horsepower more from its naturally How aspirated much was it? 4.4 litre V8. 75 kilos less, courtesy of Perspex windows and no rear yeah. seats. These 2016 man. bought us the first turbo era M3. It didn't really and at 1510 kilos, didn't get the best reviews, it was did it? lighter than the previous GTS. Only 700 were built. It featured water injection and lapped the ring in seven yes, minutes. Yes, methanol yet. injection. But unsurprisingly, this one is the fastest of all. The fastest M car ever. BMW has returned to a more serious lightweighting philosophy here. I know this seems a heavy car, but it's the most weight taken out of an M3 since the legendary E46 CSL. Most encouragingly of all, while this is extremely fast around the Nürburgring, the fastest BMW production car ever, no less, BMW say it is a road car first, track second. And I reckon that's the Got perfect you. way for BMW M to celebrate hitting the big 5-0. 50 years of M cars. Nice, yeah, M4 CSL. I mean, I'm sure it's going to feel amazing on the road or even on the track. Um, those tyres, you're not going to be able to run those tyres on the street. You'll probably need some Michelin PS4S tyres. That's probably going to be the best option. It's sad realising the E46 was £800 lighter than this. Yeah, that's the sad thing because it's... Bro, what is it still? 16, 1700 kilos? Well, heavy. But yeah, guys, I'm going to end the video there. As always, if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and uh, make sure to check out the next video because I'm actually going to watch the Nurburg Ring lap time. So it's the official 7 minute, 15, 16 second lap record. And remember, ticket link in the description for anyone that wants to win an M140 this Sunday, 99p entries. I'll see you guys soon.
like speed hump. No. Keep up no. when I speed up. No. See your future, that's my past. Yeah. See the smoke when I drive past. Yeah. Fast lane, yeah. living life fast. See your girl, she's in my car. Mm. Oh well, that's your girl in my hotel, that's five stars. Yeah. Make the rules yeah. disappear.